Actually being here for the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to put on the headphones? Headphones. Yeah, sure. So guys, man, Kobazi was first through the door. Yeah. First Liberian to come through on one extra and bless us with, you know, the music from your ends. Right. And now he was like, yo, Edu, you need to check these guys out, man. I'm right. telling you, Stana, MC Caro, absolutely crazy, man. Right. So let's start off with you, Stana. Yes, I understand sir. you're a bit of a ladies man, you're a bit of a <laughs> serenader and all these things before you're an artist man, don't is that all true? Don't mind them, don't mind them, don't mind them. <laughs> this so is like, from your management, you know? Right, you know, because they be, they be trying to label me as this, you know, bad guy, but, you know, I'm such a good guy, you know. Uh -huh. I'm a great guy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you sing, so how did you get into music? Um, basically for me it was like, you know, just fun thing. Yeah, it started as fun. We had like a group in Liberia where, you know, we did like, you know, shows and stuff. More like a club promoter before music okay. I was, you know, uh -huh. yeah, so Swag Dish, we had our thing going, man, you know. Uh -huh. And I did a song, actually a demo, and it just blew it out. And then after that, it was like, you know, serious thing now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, is it that easy to get into music in Liberia? Because it, it looks like there's a lot of young cats, you know, really doing it. Yo, know, don't be honest, like, you know, there are a lot of amazing talents, you know, especially during the time that, you know, I had the chance to, like, break through. Mm. Like, you know, we had, like, a lot of, you know, dope artists, like, you know, the likes of uh, Quincy B. Mm -hmm. Now he's, you know, late. Um, mm -hmm. He's so rest in peace. Like, he, you know, influenced my sound, you know, seriously, you know. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, at that time, it wasn't so easy to break out, but it was oh, just yeah. something I call grace, you know. Oh. Grace. That's just what happened, you know, at my <laughs> time. <laughs> so, so what do you think has changed and made it much easier for guys to, to pop up? Um, now we have like, you know, social media, mm -hmm. you know, now you have like, you know, a lot of people that, you know, uh, discovering new talents and stuff on the internet. So, you know, now it's pretty much easier than, you know, we had that chance. We had to like, basically, I had to like, you know, go around as an artist, you know, uh, uh, distributing my songs when I, when I never had like a management team. That's the grind, you know, that's okay. like the work behind, you know, okay. getting here, right? Yeah, I mean, I was speaking, I was listening to an interview with Kiss Daniel because he's currently on on tour in America right. and he was saying he went to North Carolina and 90% of the people who came out there were Liberian right <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you bro like Liberians <laughs> are super supportive uh, uh -huh. you know I feel like you know we're now in this era where you know Liberians are starting to like you know love you know being African uh -huh. you know that's like first being that's like the most important thing to me you know first of all we are all Africans yeah. and then you know we are from you know Liberia Nigeria and everything like you and whenever you know Liberia have the chance to show love they go all out yeah, I mean, because you have that connection with America, so Definitely, sometimes it, it right. makes it makes it a bit, you know, confusing. Definitely. But Definitely. now you're right. so we're gonna play this song, the brand new one called "Green Light" by Stana. Stana is in the building. We're yes, gonna be sir. chatting with MC Caro as well, man, representing Liberia. MC Caro's voice. Wait, wait till you hear it, man. <laughs> Aaron, you're gonna move this mic a little bit back. I mean, closer to us. Do I push your mic a little bit closer to us? Right. Just so you're a bit further away from it. So you bring the mic towards us. Because as soon as your head goes past it, it won't pick you up. Show him off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talented. 
That's like probably why my manager and other people like you know like to like you know make me seem like the bad guy you know because I'll be singing for the girls. You know? <laughs> I don't know, but there's something about the ladies. Um, you know, shout out to every beautiful lady, man. Yeah, they inspire me a lot. You know, okay. that's where I like draw you know inspiration from basically to record. You know, huh? beautiful uh -huh. ladies. Yeah. Mm. So it's mostly I'm a fan of God's creation. Mm -hmm. I like to put it out. I'm a fan of God's creation because I feel like you know God created them. Obviously, I'm just like you know appreciating his work. So, so no music for the man them. Uh, so I have a couple of songs for the man them. Uh, Most of my songs are for the girls. Uh, you know, the <laughs> so, but that's a, that's a very interesting lane because where, right. when you look at the the guys who are shining right now, like you look at the guys from Nigeria, right. like the Omalays, the Fire Boys, there's that kind of like the right. Joe Boys. There's that kind of sweet R and B vibe that's going on there. Right, right. You know, that's exactly. You know, that's like similar stuff because. Back home, like, you know, um, no disrespect to the OGs, but for me, it's the, you know, it's about breaking the stereotype, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, back then it was more about objectifying women and stuff, like, you know, but now I'm here, like, you know, telling these girls, like, you know, you don't have to hear yeah. these things, you know, negatively, you know, speaking about you. I'm mm -hmm. here, like, telling you, you know, yo, you deserve love and all these things and stuff, like, basically. Okay. Right. And, and it's working for you, obviously. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, you know. So are there, are there some, uh, like, because obviously we, we do have R&B, you know, shout right. out to Ace, people who do, you know, R&B shows on the station. Right. Are there any R&B stars that, you know, inspire you? Yeah, so I was just telling a friend of mine, you know, I asked first of all, like, you know, is Craig different from here? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah course, definitely. Man. Like, you know, I feel like my sound, you Seven know. Seven days. Definitely, yeah, that's yeah, the one, yeah, you know, of the week. <laughs> like my son was, you know, hugely influenced by that guy, you know, he's more like an idol to me, you know, oh, uh, yeah, right, so, you know, basically, if I ever had a chance, like, you know, to do a song with him or see him face to face, he's, I mean, he's, he's gonna know that, you know, the love is real. Yeah, how okay. long are you here for? Um, I'm here for like uh, two weeks. Okay, okay. Can you guys came out to perform a show? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, we we were here to like um, initially celebrate the uh, Liberian Independence Day. Of course. That's like you know the weekend already happened. Liberians came out. We had fun. You know, yeah. it was crazy out there. And we have a show in Northampton. Uh -huh. You know, my G and I big uh -huh. fun show you know, in Northampton on next Friday. Okay, man, I give you the green light. This one is called Another Level. Lessons. Yeah, we'll be speaking to MC Carl. <laughs> Craig Davis on our show on Sunday, What? Craig Davis on our show on Sunday. He's showing off now. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no time to none of that. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Though. We're in Central London. Right? We definitely can move there. Wherever. It is. <laughs> as long as he on Monday, you hook up in the club on Tuesday. Make sure the club is seven days. The bed sounds really loud. I think the mic wasn't loud enough. I think it's the headphones.
MC Carol, how you doing, man? I'm good, boss. How are you? I I, I love your huskiness of your voice. I know. It, it's it's larger than life. <laughs> Same M M Seeing. So who who do you look up to? Who made you get into this game? I mean, you know, when I said this, people don't believe it. I really didn't know anything about female rappers or singers before ah. before before the music. Oh wow! I was just doing my thing, and people were like, oh. You remind me of Missy Elliott, and I'm like, who's Missy Elliott? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know Missy Elliott. Oh, wow. And then I want to check out. I was like, oh, this one's big, you know? Uh -huh. So an icon and everything. Okay, that's cool. Some people say Tenny of Nigeria. I'm like, okay. But I'm somebody who don't like to be in people's spotlight. Uh -huh, you get? Course, yeah. Yeah, I want, I want the world to know me for me. Yeah. Yeah, like people call me King Caro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Name, name of the yeah. album as well, sure. isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, it has never happened in my country before for a female to be on the same level with the guys mm -hmm. back to back and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, they say, no, I mean, you just do King Carol one time because that's the vibe you are giving us. Ah. Yeah. Because I'm defeated. Yeah. Because hip hop and rap is all very competitive, right? Yeah, sure. And, and so, do you go toe to toe with guys? Have you been in battles with. with mm, no, with other not rappers? really in battles, but I'm mm -hmm. talking about the studio work mm -hmm. outside, branding and everything, dropping music, you know, dropping hits back to back. Mm -hmm. We are all on the same level. Okay. You know? Yeah, because yeah. I heard as well, you had a. You had a body of work, like an album. I don't yeah, see many yeah. guys do that. People just drop singles yeah, and singles, but massive. you had. You know, it was massive. And, and, and it was like 17 or 18 songs on 20 that. songs actually. Like, oof, you see? Yeah. There's so much, so much songs. music on there. Yeah. So many lyrics from you. So much. <laughs> you should take so, your time and listen. They are really good. Yeah, this one is called <laughs> Pull Up. What yeah. inspired Pull Up? Oh, Pull Up, okay. <laughs> so, me and another artist called Phils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're driving, going to another county. Mm -hmm. The county is called Maggie B in Liberia. Okay. And we had the producer in the car. Uh -huh. So we're like, this kind of highway vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're pulling up and stuff, and I like, just create something. Uh -huh. And I was like, I got <laughs> So yeah, we just vibing and homie, and we decided to find lyrics. And we recorded the song the same day. And we, the video released it, boom, it became very, very big. Everybody liked the song. It gave that chilly, that cruise vibe. You driving, you in your house, house party, whatever. Uh -huh. Everybody still want to pull up. Even if you're sitting down, you still want to pull up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. let's pull up right now, man. It's MC Carol from Liberia in the building. Oi, oi. King Carol. I'm a, I'm a hell of a man. Yeah, that's right. That's the greatest. I listen to him from what time. Yeah. Tell him. Why don't you make clean music, you people? Mm -hmm. You sent me dirty music, I had to clean. 
You send me to the WD, how to clean. <laughs> I'm beef with you rappers, man. <laughs> I, see, I, see the, I see the Tenny records. because it's heavy on the bass, yeah. so the trap, and I see where the tenny references come from. Oh yeah? <laughs> yes, 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 the singing voice, how it yeah. sounds, it sounds very tenny, but then you have your own style when you come up. True. Yeah. So you can switch styles, you can sing as well. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, work, I'm actually working on singing, uh -huh. but you know, it's not really what I'm known for right now. Okay. Yeah, everybody know MC Khan is a real rapper. Uh -huh. But you know, you got to be stylish some of the time. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so when you were performing, you guys, how, how was the reception at the Liberian it Independence? Was, it was good. It was great. Our people came out. We had big names in the house. We had some politicians from back home. Mm -hmm. They flew here to England to come and celebrate with us. Okay. It was really great. Uh -huh. And we look forward to seeing more, you know, yeah. more of that. And I, I, I am told when you jump on stage, you have a c absolutely crazy fan base. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, lovely. everybody loves King Carl. Trust me. <laughs> Trust what, do you, me. what do you think it is about you or I the think music people, that you make that really connects? So be honest, people like my personality before my music. Um, so when they listen to my music and it's dope and everything just click, combine, you know, the force become very, very stronger. Um, so they say I have a good personality. And that's why the love first before my music. A lot of people know MC Carol, some people, but before they realized, they thought I was just, you know, oh, she's an artist. I just like her, but I didn't even know she was an artist. Uh, okay, okay. You know, and then you know, I, they I get onto my music. I definitely see that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's literally, it's, you know, it's hitting me in the yeah. face every time, man. So I'd just like to say, man, thank you guys so much for coming through, man. We appreciate you. What are your socials so that the guys can, can follow you? Okay, first. So yeah, so um, on Instagram I'm at official <laughs> underscore stunner six. That's official underscore stunner six. Okay. And then on Facebook I'm at uh, stunner official base on Facebook. Twitter I am underscore stunner. Ah, uh -huh. and MC Carol. Um, I'm MC Carol official everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. And you can also check out my music on Spotify, Apple Music, Audio Mag, Boom Play, everywhere. Check me out, man. My sound is dope. I can't wait to 
you know, shed his good music with the world. Yeah, one of these days. <laughs> and of course, thank you to Kabazi and the whole crew. Oh, yes. We appreciate it. That was a big link up right there. Yeah, yeah, like that. that appreciate that, Bazi. That guy is a guy with a golden heart. <laughs> and it's actually a pleasure for him to say that on BBC, you know, radio. Because, you know, he has a golden heart. You know, he always put people on stuff like you know. Sure. So big shout out to Kabazi. Yeah. Big shout out to Liberia. Big shout out to you for the opportunity. Big shout out to the Loman you know, Boa. And oh, DJ Edu, yeah. I just want to say I appreciate it so much. Oh, you and the whole team, the whole BBC family. From other way, like you and you recognize. Oh, you know when you follow me, I'm like, whoa, you're <laughs> a awesome, cool guy. Really? Thank you so much. I really appreciate. It. No talent recognizing real talent. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and we hope this relationship continue. You know, it'll stop here. Of yeah. course, man. Forever and ever. Put me onto more uh, Liberian music sure. and please, go, man. Please. Thank you very much. Your number two and three, and let it not stop there, man. Let's go. Show. So much. Let me play this one, man. I like the energy on this one, man. Yes, the hey. Liberian boy and girl hey. in the building, man. Show. Thank you so well, much you know. for passing through. Stun up, MC Lessons. Carol. Oi, oi. <laughs> This song is literally telling you to, you know, keep up, keep up the ground, keep up the ground. Say I hear every time. Sound like the French don't any miss. When I struggle, hit. All you gotta say, from the gun, first on any miss. When I struggle, hit. Hey, all you gotta say, I know it's not easy. I've been through the same place. All you gotta keep it moving. I've been through the same place. Yeah, yeah. Start at you know, ten seconds. Work. How you gonna be the best? You don't wanna try. Think what you gotta be kidding me? Girl, I know you play. Since I came out of the ground, you got my vocabulary. DJ Inu. First play exclusive Drizzlelick from Sierra Leone with Idris Elba Ashobi. At the top of the hour, Snoochie Shy takes over. And straight after this is the DNA mix. Remember, you can't just show any other show on the station by BBC Sounds. I show me first play exclusive and one extra. Let's let's quickly get a picture of. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Dang, 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 dang,